Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to design sign up screen or register screen in Flutter. So first of all, let's quickly have a look what we are going to achieve. Okay, so our project is running. This is a splash screen we have already created and currently we are viewing this in the dark mode. We have also learned how to create this onboarding screen and we are going to click on this next button. In the last tutorial, we learned how to design this login screen and same we are going to reuse some of the code of the login screen inside our sign up screen and in today's tutorial, when user is going to click on this create account, this screen will be appeared. We can add anything in these fields. The first thing you can see at the top, we have an app bar with an back arrow. Then we have a text, text fields, or you can say a complete form till create account. Then we have this rich text editor, which is saying I agree to privacy policy in terms of use with a checkbox. And then again, we have a footer. So if you're following the series, you already know that we are creating Flutter e-commerce application and we are inside section two. If you're new, you can get the link to the playlist from the description below. You can get it from the right top corner. In the section two, today we are going to learn how to create sign-up screen. We are going to divide the sign-up screen into three parts. First of all, we will today learn how to design the sign-up screen. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to create email verification screen and at the last success screen, which is going to have a simple text in the center and also an image at the top or you can also add animated images. Okay, so let's head towards our Android Studio. This is the login node art which we have created in the previous tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to reuse this divider and also the footer. If you remember that we have created T form divider, head towards this common and inside the widgets of login sign up folder we have created two form divider and also social buttons. So we are going to reuse them today again for the sign up. So that's the reason we added those widgets at the top in the common folder. Okay, so in today's tutorial inside the features authentication screens, you have to create a new folder, which is sign up folder. And inside we have a sign up dot dart file, import material library and create a simple stateless class. You just have to write STL and new class will be created. You can name it anything, but we have sign up screen replace this placeholder with a scaffold then the first thing we need app bar we are not going to create a custom app bar in here but in the next videos when we are going to start creating section 3 we will design and customize our app bar as a custom app bar and then we will start using that custom app bar throughout in our application but for now let's uh, keep it as an app bar over here the default app bar should add a back arrow by default so that's why i am not going to add anything inside it after that we have a body and as we want this design to be scrollable on smaller devices so we are going to use single child scroll view as a child the first thing we need to add spaces or default space around the screen add insects dot all and we will use the sizes class t sizes dot default space to use the t sizes class you have to import that class at the top first and inside you can see this is the class again and for the default space, we are using 24 space. This is going to add spaces at the sides of our design. Okay, next inside this padding, we're going to use the column and in the children's of the column because we want to stack all the elements vertically from top to bottom. So that's why we have to use the column for multiple children. So first thing is a title. So for the title, we are going to use text. Use the ttext class dot sign up title which is a string we have already added so to design it we're going to use theme dot of context dot text themes which we already designed in section one so again if you are confused over here i suggest you to avoid the section one first and as a title we are going to use headline medium property next in here we are again going to design the form the same way we will extract the form into a separate sub widget but for the time being let's add the form over here Okay, before adding the form, add size or the custom space between title and a form, which will be space between sections. It is 32 and space between items is 16. Inside the form, it requires a single child, but we want to add multiple text fields. So we are going to use again a column property. Inside the column, use children's. And the first thing of the form is you can see a simple row with two text fields. So to place two text fields in a single line, we have to use row. Children's of the row will be in here. This is a tricky part. If you're going to create a simple text form field and you just have to duplicate it, it's not going to allow you 
to put two text fields in a single row because text form field is going to take all the space and it's going to push the second text field to the next line but we don't want it inside the text field we're going to use the decoration property to put the label text as first name and prefix icon as the user we are going to use this icons library which is icons x let's remove this comma control alt l to align one more property that we are going to use inside this text form field is expands and make it false add a comma and also make sure to add constants wherever required okay so our application is running we are inside the onboarding screen let's go to login and when we are going to click on this create button we should be redirected to this screen so inside this login let's go to login form and down below you can see we have a create account button in here to move to the new screen as we are using the getx property we will simply write get dot two to move to the next screen and inside this again call a function which is sign up screen make sure to add a constant that's it save the code click on this create account and you can see inside the create account or the sign up screen we have an error which is input decorator which is typically created by a text field cannot have unbounded width so this is what i wanted to show you let's close it minimize it and now let's try to wrap this with a widget with an expanded or you can also wrap it with a flexible widget let's save it and you can see the design is visible but currently we have one single text field in a row so let me just duplicate it let's save it and in here you can see we have two text fields to add a space in between we will use the size box and in this time we are going to add a width property space between input fields if you want to see the space it's 16.0 Okay, now let's save the code and you can see the space between two text fields. Change the text, save it again and text is being changed. Let me show you the text. All the texts are written over here. Okay, next without adding a row, let me just copy and paste a single text field over here as a username. And you can see I have added a space inside these two text fields. We have a width as a space, space between input fields. And next we are going to add the height between all the text fields, which will be the same space between input fields. So in here I have added username, text is changed and icon is changed. So let me complete all the text fields. Okay, in here you can see I have added username, email, phone number and password. For the password, same like in the login, I just have added extra suffix icon, which is i slash just to show the hidden or the visible password but we will toggle it inside the backend video let's save the code and you can see we have username email phone number and password created so the form is created we have to create its terms and condition checkbox now as it is inside a row so we have to create a checkbox and then we are going to add a text so first add a row and the children checkbox currently the value will be true on changed we will get some boolean value either it's true or false when it is going to be changed now the checkbox is created let's save it and in here you can see we have some extra space at the left side so if you want to remove this extra space from the left side we can wrap this checkbox with a size box widget now let's save it and you can see it's moved to the left top Okay, once again, if you're confused with these uh, designs, how everything is being fitted on the dark theme or the light theme, why text is white on the dark theme, text fields are being applied. Okay, let me just show you again that we have already created a theme and in here we have a text field theme which is created. The light mode is defined over here, dark mode is defined over here. And then again for the text theme, everything is defined right over here. So if you're new, you can watch the previous tutorials Okay, now the checkbox is created. Let's add a space. We will add width this time. Space between items. Okay, now we are going to add a text which is not same all the time. The first character is simply faint. Then we have a blue, then faint, and then again a blue. To add such text, we are going to use text.rich or the rich text property. Inside, you can see we have to add text span inside the rich. So let's first add text span and inside the text span we can easily add children's and the text span children's should again be a text span and now each time we are going to add text span as a text text is i agree to and to add a space 
we will use the interpolation and add a space over here so we will have the text is right over here i agree to then we have the next word which is different in a different style so we'll use a style property for this press ctrl alt l to align okay so the first text is i agree to we have a space over here now let's duplicate it then with the same style we will have the and property or the and text but in between we are going to have a text which will be highlighted or the bold text on which we want the user to put focus on but we will again use text span this time text will be privacy policy text but style is going to be a bit changed we are going to use the body medium but to apply a different style add exclamation mark then dot we are going to use the apply property inside this apply we can define our custom colors custom design so for the color first of all let's go to the top and inside let's create a variable which is going to check that if currently we have a dark theme or the light theme we are going to use the helper function dot is dark mode so helper function is a helper class and inside the is dark mode we have theme dot of context dot brightness is equal is equal to dark mode then it will return a true over here so we can easily use this dark property inside this color if dark is equal to true we will use the white color else in the dark mode we are going to use the primary color next as a decoration use the underline and decoration color will be same let's scroll up if the theme is in the dark mode use the white color and else use the primary color we can easily copy this and after this we are going to paste it for the terms of use to show you let's save the code and you can see we have i agree to privacy policy and terms of use so let's add a space use the interpolation again add single quotes using a dollar sign we will add a keyword or a variable and after that a small space let's save it and you can see a space has been applied now let me change this to the light mode and you can see same text is going to be changed everything is applied perfectly at the top for the text to place on the left side inside this column we are going to use cross axis because column is in the vertical which is the main axis so its cross axis will be horizontal so to place it to the left side we will use cross axis alignment dot start save the code and text has been moved okay now last thing inside this form is we have to create the sign up button to make the sign up button or any button full width we will use size box width will be double dot infinity and as a child use the elevated button on press is null and inside the text we are going to use t text dot create account add a constant add a comma over here let's save the code and you can see create account has been added let me add space let's save it and our form is completed now next to this form we just have to call the designs we have created already which is the first thing is a divider to call the divider we have to use t form divider and as a divider text or sign up with and to make it capitalize we will use capitalize add exclamation mark and that's it let me just show you the form divider again we have a flexible to add two dividers and in between we have a simple text so text is being passed from the class which is using this in here we are using or sign up with and inside this login we are using or sign in with so we have two different text but with the same widget okay next after this divider we just have to call the social buttons or the footer you just have to call sorry t social buttons and that's it we don't have to pass anything just add a constant save the code and we have added both divider and also the footer just need to add spaces both spaces are spaced between sections let's save it we need to add space right we know this let's save the code and you can see we have or sign up with okay now let's turn it to dark mode again and you can see we have everything defined perfectly but you can see the back arrow is currently not visible this is the reason or this is one of the reason we are going to create our custom app bar in which we are going to also change these colors and icons as well so for now let's uh, stick it with this app bar we can easily 
create a custom widgets for this form as well right click on the form go to refactor extract flutter widget name it t sign up form and that's it it has been extracted we're going to cut and inside these widgets create a new file inside the sign up dot widgets sign up form dot dart import the material library paste the class add all the required imports all over this and we have to import it we can remove this dark because we can easily cut it from here go to sign up form and instead of asking a boolean variable we can simply paste it right over here import this helper function class and that's it and down below if you want to extract it terms and conditions as again a separate widget you just again have to right click refactor extract flutter widget t terms and condition checkbox again dark is not what we want to pass so let's cut the dark mode from there and paste it right inside this we don't require dark mode add constant at the top extract this class into a new file inside the widgets create a new file terms and conditions check box dot dart import material library paste it add required imports okay once created go to sign up form and inside we have to import this and that's it our design is completed we have a separate form we have a separate terms and conditions and again we have a separate main form add a constant and that's it make sure to remove all the imports which are not being used so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learned something new please like the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified once again you can get the project structure as well as project complete user interface or the complete code from the link provided in the description below once again thank you for watching take care allah hafiz